Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 11.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 26th day of July, 2024 and this is the evening report for gold and silver, our weekend review. Although gold traded lower on the week, the combination of yesterday's second quarter GDP and today's inflation report vis-a-vis -vis the PCE price index moved gold substantially higher, closing out the week with a positive gain of $22.30, taking the most active August contract to $2,385.70. We did send out a couple of trade alerts prior to the release of this morning's PCE report. We'll cover that in detail when we look at our technical studies. As you recall from earlier daily reports this week, we also mentioned that we most likely will not include silver into the mix when we send out a trade alert to go long gold futures. The rationale behind that was the recent performance in silver with silver gaining, but gaining only a fractional 0.16%. That's a four and a half cent gain, taking the most active futures contract to $28.02. The dollar declined by 0.09%, taking the index to 104.065. As you know, towards the end of the week, we have been trying to position ourselves at the best available price, entering a long August gold position. Last night, we sent out a series of trade alerts with the final limit order being filled at $2,364. Initially, we put our stop at $2,348 as a good till canceled stop, but later raised that stop to $2,362, just $2 below our entry price. In essence, reducing risk on this current trade, we will maintain our current long position in August gold, as well as our good till canceled stop over the weekend. We believe that the solid gains today will continue in trading next week. In terms of technical levels that we want to be aware of, as far as support goes, we believe there is major support at approximately $2,350. That is based on a combination of the 78% FIB retracement, as well as the 100-day simple moving average. The second thing that is noteworthy is the fact that gold's gains today took current pricing above the 50-day simple moving average, which I believe has now become a minor level of technical support at $2,375. If gold continues to trade higher, as we are currently assuming next week, there is no technical resistance till approximately $2,400 per ounce. The three levels of potential resistance above $2,400 are based upon the three new record closing prices that occurred on the 19th of April at 2430, on May 21st at 2455, and the all-time record close of 2476 that occurred on the 16th of this month. Which takes me to my interim and long-term forecast, which we can update now that it appears highly probable that the correction from the record high at 2,488 to the low that came in yesterday will conclude a primary second corrective wave. If correct, that means that we have entered the third impulse wave or wave three, which according to Elliott wave theory cannot be the shortest of any of the three impulse waves, wave one, three, and five, which means that the minimum upside target for our third wave would have to be at around $2,535. That's a one-to-one -one relationship between wave one and wave three. It could, of course, go much higher. One of the more simplistic price models looks for a 1.618 extension of the price move seen in wave one. If that turns out to be true, 
Gold could head to as high as $2,650 by the conclusion of this third wave, which if true would shatter the record for the all time record close and high. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you after the weekend for the next daily update and evening report. Bye-bye.